We're here today at Goldington Green Lung School. They've just opened up their brand new garden. It's for educational reasons and just for the kids to have fun. So let's go find out some more. We had a vision. We, we wanted to create an area, an environmental area for the children, um, an extension of the, the indoor classroom, an outdoor classroom. So we had the vision, we had the enthusiasm and we had the ability to work hard. What we didn't have at that stage was the, was the funds, the money. Um, because we knew that a project like this was going to take um, a significant amount of money and, and then obviously the time. Um, we were then fortunate to have um, a new parent governor join the governing body who was a member of um, a trustee of um, a committee called the Amateurs Trust and they could immediately see the benefits for the children and the community of what our vision was. Yeah, you know, it's a brilliant project. Um, it's, I think it's going to, as a garden, I mean, it's only just been created and it's looking brilliant already. I think over the next, let's say, one to two years, it's only going to get better because the garden's going to mature. You're going to get pond life that they can actually, instead of fishing for leaves, they'll fish for actual pond life. Um, and yeah, I think it's, we're just, you know, as a parent governor, as a trustee of the Amateurs Trust, it's something that it's a real live project. So it's, I'm just really looking forward to seeing it grow. Well, we have visually impaired children in school and one of the things that I plan to do with him is use the area to encourage him to develop his senses, his hearing, his feeling and then that in its turn, when he does eventually lose all of his sight, he will know how to automatically use them. We're here with Tolga today. What's your favourite part of the garden? My favourite part is the three ponds and um, the, tr the different coloured leaves. And then when I see them, I, I see that they change colour in the garden. But when I see the garden, I try, I try, to, I've tried to spot some fishes, but there are no fishes in the pond. But um, uh, some, some animal, I, I, yesterday I saw, some, I saw one pussycat running around in the Isle Mental area. Well, we were asked um, uh, along, uh, there were three, three of us, three tenders, um, and we felt that it was an opportunity to establish our name within wildlife areas. Uh, it's, you know, it's a great project to undertake because um, we're mostly doing domestic gardens, you know, large landscape areas, but to actually you know, uh, do a wildlife area, it's a great, great area to, to work in. So it was a privilege to uh, be asked um, and it was actually a year and a half ago we were first asked. Um, and then you know we're, we're here today and it's all complete so it's a, it a great journey through through the project. I've been really pleased to be part of it and I feel privileged to be here because I think it's such a good project it's it's very important to have to allow children to have access to the outdoors in a safe environment because so many children now live in areas where they don't have gardens or green space around them or perhaps their families are unable to, to give the time to take them out into the greenery and here they can see things grow, they can see the seasons changing, they can see mini bugs, they can, they can look for things in the pond. I think it's wonderful and I'm very pleased to have been part of it. Are you having a good day today girlies? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and what's your... School. <laughs> and what's your favourite part of the garden? Uh, and the, the pond. pond. The pond where you I can catch things. Yeah. I think the best place is where where the um, gate is, where you can see lots of foxes. And are you going to be looking after the foxes? Yes. The project is a great example of not only children and staff, but the community coming together. And I'm sure it's going to be put to good use.